Good morning, friends. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if not, welcome back. My name is Robin. Um, I was known as Robin Voke on here for years, but I decided to change my name to like an actual <laughs> name. So I went with Robin's Documented Life because I have a little bit of everything throughout videos. Um, mostly this whole last year has been the cash stuffing and the savings challenges. I've just been doing this shortly over a year. And um, I decided to teach myself some skills and I opened an Etsy shop today or last night actually. Um, first thing, I, I always have ideas, you know, I scrapbook, I plan, I've always, you know, painted, done cross stitch, I sew, I quilt, I cook, I do photography. So I see all these wonderful challenges and I purchase them too from you all and I always will. Um, but I'm like, you know what, sometimes I was looking for something and I couldn't quite find what I was wanting. And I'm like, let me see if I can maybe make something that I was looking for. And so I heard about Canva. I went on Canva and I'm sure there's many other places to design. And if you know of any, please let me know, you know, just to shake things up and do something different too. Um, but I had to teach myself. I am 53. I'm not a computer person. I never have been good with them. But if I'm stubborn enough, <laughs> um, I try and teach myself. So I went on and I just started playing and I decided to go with the trial for the pro and I just paid for it. And it's so much cheaper paying it for a year after the 30 day trial than paying monthly. Monthly is like $14.99 and I think I pay around $9.99 because I pay in one lump sum. So it was like $119.99. So worth it. But let, let me just get started. I am Robin's Documented Life, all one word no apostrophe <laughs> on Etsy and I'll leave the link down below. Madeline Budgets was sweet enough um, to already purchase something. She purchased the monthly, well she purchased a few things but she used it in her video already today and I'm like that was just so incredibly shocking. Like it was just so sweet and um, I hope you guys like what I come up with. So the very first thing I made, and this was something I've been trying to look for, uh, was something with magnolias. I love magnolias. I've always loved magnolias. I love the movie Steel Magnolia. <laughs> That's where I got my daughter's name Shelby from. When we moved down south, um, they were everywhere. And when we, when we had to leave Virginia to come here to Delaware, I did not want to move. We had been in Virginia for nine years. That was the only place the kids remember. It was kind of an upsetting Air Force move. But my husband found this one small house in the school district we wanted, and our town is Magnolia, Delaware. So there you go. So with this challenge, I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 spots. I uh, use little hearts, and you can assign each um, magnolia, give it its own value, $2, $1, $20, that's up to you. Or you can roll the dice and take your chances. This one I did make it for 60, each of these are $5, but again, if you wanted higher budget, you could roll the dice and add the five to whatever you rolled or multiply it even. And then in all of my um, downloads. I'm digital download only. I don't have any physical products at this time. Your girl needs a break to, <laughs> you should have seen me trying to upload from, um, I had to go back into Canva and retitle all of my titles in here because I had exclamation marks or apostrophes and it downloaded to my computer fine. But then when you upload it to Etsy, it won't let you have any special characters. So I had to go back through, this is this is what I'm talking about. But anyway, every challenge of mine comes with a dashboard. So this is A6. So I think I measured these, this is like three by, yep. So these are three by six. Once you cut them out, if you don't like the frame, just cut right into them. Feel free to laminate it and use it again. Um, or not, but isn't this just so pretty? Love that so much. So this is A6. 
I did for the A5 lovers. I'm included in that too, I have A5s. I made this challenge. Same thing, you can uh, roll the dice and pick what you want. You can assign each magnolia a designated dollar amount or just whatever you have left, maybe change in your wallet. You can put that towards this challenge. It would be interesting to see uh, what you guys really like. Please put a comment below um, what one's your favorite. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Eric and I lived in Louisiana. We were stationed there, that's where we met. And our best friend lives, still lives in Louisiana, deep south. We do Mardi Gras together, y'all. Look it, how pretty is this? I hope you can see it well. So here's your A6 dashboard. Um, and then same thing, you can make your own numbers and then all of these little fun icons. The colors just are remarkable. It's so fun, it's so me. And again, this is something I haven't seen before. We were gonna do Mardi Gras this year, um, but I have family stuff I need to take care of, so. Anyway. This is A6 and it comes with two challenges and a dashboard. For A5, there it are three challenges. Let me do this one first. So this one is the dashboard and then this one is a lot similar to this. I used to this one, but I used some different icons this time to change things up. All things Mardi Gras. This is the second page. This is a roll with it or a sign a star. And then this one is a color in Fleur de Lis. And I know I'm probably not saying that right, but a lot of us love to color as we go and you can make it your own and do what you want. But that's A5 Mardi Gras. Next, I wanted to do a, uh, make a little mini for my mini binder for spring. So this is what I came up with. I fell in love with the black background. Um, if that's not your thing, you're not hurting my feelings any. You are, no, you're not. <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not. So I just had some cute little icons here that remind me of spring and just bring joy to my, my heart. Little ducky and sun and tulips and a bike, a robin bunnies, butterflies, flowers, hedgehog, and then rainy day savings, but I wanted to make it fun. And so I chose different umbrellas. And then this dashboard, you can use it either way, however you want. And I didn't title this one because I figure you could reuse it, repurpose it for like Mother's Day or birthdays or bridal shower, wedding. Um, just for your spring envelope, whatever. I just figure, give you something versatile here. But this could say for anything. This is just something fun and cute that I love. Next up, you all know me. My my father-in-law, uh, my husband grew up on a dairy farm and I love my moo cows. My granddaughters love cows. And so saving is a mood. And that's what it says on each one. Here you can... Um, all of them are pretty much made the same. I wanted to make challenges that people can make according to their budget and budgets change constantly. Budget Budgets are always changing. Some months you're gonna have a lot and some months you're gonna have just a little bit, but it doesn't matter. But anyway, you can put however much you save for that time per can. You can write it on the can and inside the strawberry with the pink cow. I just thought that was adorable. And then of course you have your A6 dashboard to go with it. Next is down on the farm. This is just the dashboard I wanted to show you. It is also A6. Look at that bougie barn. That's what I'm talking about. And then this is the, the three challenges. I think that they are just adorable. So I'm going to do this one myself, but if you have kids that want to save, they could learn on something like this and you know if they have 50 cents or a dollar they can write it in the windows and the tractors or next to the cow you can cross off circle or maybe make your own box i forgot to put something on here well not forget i just didn't want it to be too crowded 
but if you just kind of wanted a little up close look-see look-see aren't those girl cows cute with that bougie barn and then of course all of these adorable baby animals i'm just going to stand for this so i can make sure i'm showing you guys everything this is one that i'm very proud of <laughs> just because it's fun and we all especially as cash budgeters we love our candles so we're going to get lit with savings and this is your a6 dashboard this is kind of hard to tell here but this is coloring your candle so you can color in any color you want and then you have all of these fun fun little candles i had a lot of lot of fun making this i thought it was original maybe i'm not but i also know a lot of us save money for those bed bath and beyond and yankee candle and all these other candles the big sales that go on a couple times a year and i just thought that this would be a fun way to save so that's a6 i didn't make all of them all sizes but um, I will take requests down below if you guys have ideas. You should see the list of ideas still rolling off in my head. I was telling Madeline sometimes I had to write them down because they were coming in too quick and I didn't know if I'd remember or not. But this is pretty. This is the A5. The dashboard is a little different. I kind of went with the design or the, you know, how I have it laid out. But that's the A5. You just get the one challenge, but you do get the dashboard. And some people don't want, you know, a whole lot, but if you're on a budget, you can, uh, my girlfriend, Christina, sh thank you, Christina. <laughs> I texted her yesterday and I said, girl, I'm, I'm going nuts. I said, I'm putting my listings up. Can you please go buy something? I'll venue, <laughs> Venmo you money. And so she printed this one out and it printed out great. I just wanted to make sure I've never uploaded files to send them to another out for someone else to download and print. So she did that. And this is the one she purchased and she's going to use one for, she's saving money for a wine club group at a local winery we have. And then another, just a, um, saving for the liquor store run because here in Delaware you have to buy wine at a liquor store you can't buy it in a grocery store and so it says I make poor decisions I love play on words and puns this one is working nine to wine and here you can color maybe you can have white wine be one amount red wine be another you can roll the dice um, you can make one of them more expensive and flip a card and see which one you're saving for or whatever. And then that is the dashboard. Don't whine, just save. I had fun making this and this is one of my favorites because I am a wine lover. I like dry wines like Pinot Grigio, Pinot Noir, Cabernet, things like that. Chardonnay. Okay, I made this one for my husband in mind, but hell yes. <laughs> We have a lot of breweries around here and sometimes they can be pricey but this could just be now this one I did designate and make it $85 but if that's too much for you you can make these each a dollar or you can double them triple them whatever you want to do again these are plain you can do what you want you can do what you want and then this is the dashboard but look at the added bubbles I put on I came across that by accident I made it work but it just adds something fun to this. All right, and I put my name on here so you won't forget who made your challenge. I made this one second. The first one I made, let me show you the dashboards. You can pick whatever size you want for this full size bad boy. And this one is my prototype. So this one does, um, I brought it down so it did not cut off save $105. It came to 104 and I couldn't have it. So I had to put it <laughs> another dollar down here in the bottom. But who doesn't love an ice cold beer? I mean, you may not, but and saves 105. Very doable. If this is too much, but you like this challenge, you can always add the one in the five. That would be six. Or you can multiply five times one. That's five. Roll the dice. If you want it more, you can roll a three-sided die and save if it lands on a three save 30 for that one anyway um 
Eric and I do like to go to different breweries and try different things. And so if you just need to save for that or you just like the challenge, or it can go in your husband's binder if he drinks beer. I think that would be fun. A lot of you guys, I love you have your husband's doing that. I've tried and he's like, mm, no, this is one of my absolute favorites. I'm very proud of this. And this popped in my head, I would say three weeks ago. And we were busy with Christmas and everything, but I um, did it, finished it this last week. And I just love it so much. It's truck and good food savings. Truck, yeah, let's eat. And no seats, just eats. So I have different types of food trucks. I don't know if this even matters to you, but I have the ramen with the ramen, pizza and the pizza. I have them in the same spots, the pretzels, the salads, the barbecue, you guys and your tacos, which I love them too, fast food, a beer truck, have to have a beer truck. And you have to have a nice cream truck for the kids. But I just thought, I love the colors. It was so much fun for me to make. And I haven't seen anything like this. Maybe I'm just not, I don't know. But um, I absolutely loved it and I have more ideas to go along with the food truck. Who doesn't love a food truck? Um, in fact, at our local winery, they have food trucks on Saturdays and it's awesome. Okay, so that was your A6. So of course you're getting your A5, a different truck here, just because I felt this truck, um, I tried it at first, it just angled different. My eye just couldn't leave it alone. That's the crafter part of me, I don't know. So you have an A5 or an A6 envelope option and or share with a friend, whatever. So I gave red or black, I couldn't decide which one I liked better. So you have your choice. And then we have the truck, yeah, let's eat. And no seats, just eats. And same thing, I correlated the food <laughs> to match where the, the truck is on the other one. I don't know. It's just me. I'm the problem. It's me. Taylor Swift. Um, Madeline really liked this one, too. Well, she liked quite a few. Quite a few. She, she's she been great. Taylor's been great. Liz has been great. Like, I've reached out to a few of you. Uh, Kimberly, I've only reached out to a few asking questions. I didn't want to feel make them feel like I was copying. Like, how do you work Canva? <laughs> what kind of printer do you use? Um, but I'm new and I was just genuinely trying to get ideas. So my granddaughter loves money monies as she calls it. So I, and I just love to color. So I came up with a pinata savings and you can color, you can make, you know, letters, a designated amount, each layer on the pinata a designated amount, and then the candy clusters different amounts. You can make them all the same, you can make them all different, you can roll the dice, color in what you want. But I thought this was fun. This could be used for any party. S start saving for Cinco de Mayo, margaritas. Um, yeah, or just print it off and let your child um, color next to you while you're trying to do yours. <laughs> but I am actually gonna do this. I'm excited for that one, actually. Okay. Low budget, I had for children in mind, but I know there's a lot of us out there that sometimes we just have a couple extra bucks and that's all, but isn't that adorable? This is save $18, you pick a cloud, you can roll the dice and add it or multiply if you want to make it a little more challenging. It's $18, I thought for a child, that's pretty doable. Uh, maybe you can make the tree in the barn a bonus and save 20 even then maybe they can go and get a treat. Maybe save half of that that they saved here and get to spend the other half. That's what my dad always had us do with our allowance. We could do whatever we wanted with half of it, but half of it had to go into the bank. And then this is the adorable dashboard, but if you wanted to, you can make this another savings challenge. Uh, but this is A5 and I only made this in A5. If you'd like me to do something with it later, let me know. Okay, guys. This is another favorite one of mine. It is a color in challenge, but can I tell you, I just thought it was so funny. All I need is mascara and caffeine because I'm a redhead. If I don't have mascara on, everybody thinks I'm sick and I'm not sick. My eyelashes are just red. So I need mascara and I will take any kind of caffeine. It doesn't, it could be a, 
a pop. It could be, I love unsweet tea. It could be an a, ice or hot coffee. So all I need is mascara and caffeine here. This is the dashboard. I thought you could color in each letter is however much. And then of course I alternated coffee cups and or drinks and different mascaras that you can color in and save however you want to. I just thought it was so cute. If you know me at all, <laughs> if you've watched my channel, a lot of times if I forget something or I have to turn around or I'm trying to look for something or recount, I say, hold please. <laughs> I say it all the time. And I was like, I have to do something with that. And like I said, I grew up in the 80s, so I am no stranger to rotary phones. So hold please while I save. I thought that that was brilliant. Maybe not to you, but I thought it was fun. And so again, you can, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's 10 on here. So they could be 10 bucks a piece. That's a hundred dollars savings, five bucks a piece. That's 50 bucks, very doable. And you have your A6 dashboard, but this is just a fun little mini challenge. Aren't they cute? Okay, and then for those of you that are looking for A5, I got you, but I just did the one. Okay, so that's a lot of fun. My girlfriend, uh, Christina, her and her family uh, went on a cruise last year and they're saving to go up on a cruise. I think it's this year. So she asked me if I could come up with something for her to save for a cruise. And ironically and not enough, Kimberly and, you know, she's starting it. We're putting it out there um, of going on a cash budgeters cruise. I think she said July of 25. So I'm going to start saving myself. But it says, in the need of vitamin C, oh, ship, let's save 300 <laughs> and on cruise control so this is a six size i did write on here she asked me to do 25 and we know cruises are not inexpensive so i think that's a reasonable amount so each challenge would save you 300 dollars. you can laminate this and do it again if you want to but i thought it was really cute or like i said you can make your own icon amount which that one got me onto this idea. And I'm doing this one myself because it's oh so cute. And Christina also has a young daughter that um, wants to kind of sit with her mom when her mom's doing things. And stop it. Look how adorable this is. Just keep swimming, roll and save. And I did little bubbles that you put the amount, I mean, come on. What adult wouldn't want to do this? I love this one. I'm going to do this one for my grandchildren. I'm going to do this one. And of course, I give you the dashboards. This A6, A5. <clears throat> and these, these are four by seven and again, three by six. And actually these could be added. I was looking at it last night and these could be added challenges you could roll and um, make these bonuses, kind of like those cards where you flip them and you have to add sidekicks. Yep, you can make it a sidekick. Pull out your sidekicks, use it with, with the dashboard. But that is just keep on swimming. And I was wanting to make myself some full size um, savings challenges. Okay, <laughs> this one is funny. Okay, and this one was inspired by Iris Budgets because <laughs> she has an envelope and it's a luxe envelope for a luxury item. She saves money until she has enough to purchase something nice for herself. Um, oh, Desiree, same thing. She purchased herself a nice bag. She's paying herself back for it, but she uses savings challenges for it. Nothing wrong with paying your bills and saving money, setting it aside, but also nothing wrong with saving up for yourself because we work hard and life is short. So in the comments though, sometimes people give Iris a very hard time about spending money while she has a channel about saving money. 
And I, one time out loud while I was watching the video and I read a comment to myself, I said, mind your business. Just mind your business. <laughs> so, <laughs> I put luxury things on here, right? So there's groups of three. So we started off, I kind of started off small with makeup, which we all know. Um, one, two, where's the third one, the bougie girl. And nothing wrong with that. And then we have three jewelry items. We have three bags. Who doesn't love a bag? We have three travel icons. And then we have, I'm saving, we have a, we have a, a fifth wheel and I'm saving for a bougie SUV. So I, this is not to be mean. It was just funny. And in my title on Etsy would not let me upload it because I had an exclamation mark on my file folder name. So I had to go back to Canva, take it off and re-upload it. I had to do that so many times. But I just thought that was super funny. I loved it. And then you get your choice of um, dashboard, A6, A5. Pretty little girl putting on her lippies. Mind your business, mind your business. Okay, this one I do a monthly challenge. I did it all last year. It was a different um, sheet for each month, obviously, because it's a 12 month challenge. So I wanted to make my own. But life has just been kind of rough, um, and not just for me, for quite a few people. So I wanted to do inspirational. Okay, I do funny as the mind your business, and the ale yes, and the truck and good food. <laughs> but I also have a serious sentimental um, side that I just, you know, want to inspire others as well. So you get January through December. And they each have a saying. I just lightly outlined each one. It took me a bit, but what's coming is better than what's going. Rise by lifting others. Take every chance, drop every fear. That's me. Next one. I am a floral girl. If you haven't figured it out, I am a floral girl. So, um, this is what I came up with. So April, uh, Nature Smiles and Flowers. I saw that on a greeting card one time and it said laughed in flowers, but April is kind of softer, so I... And then May, you have made a difference in someone's life, because you have, whether you think you have or not. And um, June, little by little, one travels far, but make your own path. And it's open, so you could do a set 20, 40, 60, 80, you can do 25, 50, 75, 100, you can do 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever you want to do, okay? Um, roll the dice. I'm making everybody roll dice. I just wanted to make sure I had something for everybody and they could um, put fun twists to it or whatever. This is July, August, and September. July, Home of the Free Because of the Brave. August, Don't Be Afraid, Just Believe. September happiness is only real when shared. Amen, sister. And I love the pencils. I just thought they were cute. Okay. October. I did apples here. My husband said I should have done pumpkins. I told him to mind your business. <laughs> He's right, but I wanted to do the pencils for school. Okay. He's so cute. Love him. All right. October is a happy life consists in the tranquility of the mind. November, change your thoughts and change the world. Change your world, that's for sure. And December, reflect on life's gifts. There lies the magic. So, I had so much fun creating all of these. Um, mostly for me, but I wanted to love, help, and inspire you all as well. And I would love it if you would... You don't have to purchase, just go check out my shop and show it some love, give it some traffic. Um, I, I'm new at this. I have so many more things coming up. I don't know if I'm gonna drop so many a month. Um, I'm always gonna keep them up. I don't think I'm gonna take them down for now. Maybe ones that don't sell at all or don't sell very, very much. But if I love it, I'm gonna keep it up because it's my shop. <laughs> and someone will find me and someone will love it too, just as much as I did. But I just want you to know how much fun and energy and love I put into these and it's they're a part of me it's not just something I 
copied and pasted. Well, I kind of did in Canva, but, but I had to put thought into it and I did digging and I switched icons around when I found one I liked better and all of that. I put in, I put in the work. So thank you so much. This is probably a longer video. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, this is January, but you will be seeing some, I have to back step a little bit for my end of December, bill condensing, recap, and all of that. So this one will be out of order. I was just excited and wanted to get it up. And um, I asked some of you for Happy Mail addresses. Most of you got back to me. There's a few that haven't. So you might see one of these coming in the mail. I don't know, but leave a comment down below, which was your favorite. Um, and any tips, tricks, I would gratefully take. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye.